Hello everyone, this is All Things Reviewed, and today we're going to be doing LEGO Speed Champions set number 75891. Seven plus ages, 198 pieces, and it's officially branded from Chevrolet, as you can see. I'm gonna zoom in there, and we brought with us today, actually, I found this from my room, a nice little road sign. Let me know. Uh, what you guys think of this and as always be make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what kind of sets you guys want or whatever you want me to uh, review next we do everything we don't do just Legos but since I have this big collection I decided to do this first and since I'm gonna be cleaning out because we're moving soon enough I'm gonna start with these and then move on so Please make sure if you're interested in seeing more bigger and better to <clears throat> subscribe and comment if you really want to see it ahead. I'll make sure to do it if it gets 10 likes. Okay, so this, I uh, honestly, to give an unbiased opinion, is probably one of my favorite LEGO Speed Champion sets. It's just so nice, so detailed with all the stickers. Just has so many unique features that it's lovely, you know, and Let's start off with the basics. So when you open it, you're gonna have some extra pieces as well. And this would be the booklet. You get one booklet that comes along with it. I'm gonna put Part that here actually. Hand. I'm gonna use a standard up. booklet. 40, I think it's 40, so like 50, 60 pages. You'll have it done within 10 to 15 minutes. And let's start with the box design. And this is also a new backdrop I'm putting on. So hopefully it is better. So 198 pieces in the front, you have like this in a pit. It's a really nice racing car, you know, I think it looks amazing. You have official GM licensing as well. And then of course in the back of it, you have like some pretty cool use cases. So you could see this is meant for like a race car. And this is the actual photo of the actual car and the Lego version, which I think looks really close. And I'm gonna talk about this later and show you, but it has a freaking roll cage. That's cool. I haven't seen too many other LEGO Speed Championships that have so many little quirks and features. I'll give you the measurements as always, so you know what you're getting into. So the box by itself, no manual, no nothing. This one only weighs two ounces, so it's pretty lightweight. And by the way, I bought this uh, online. It's discontinued and it was a retail price of $15. You can every now and then get them for $15. That's how much I paid with free shipping. So I still got it at the retail price, but other places are selling 22, 23. If you are okay with waiting around, you'll get a better deal. If not, then just 22, 23, but some as high as 30, but I wouldn't say 30. And this is with the pamphlet. It's pushing three to four ounces. So now let's get to the actual card. Uh, I'm gonna leave all these cool little features later, so stay tuned, watch the rest of the video to see all these cool features about it. But the card itself weighs four ounces. You can see right there. This one accessory weighs half an ounce and minifigure weighs uh, less than half an ounce as well. Okay, let's put that here. Now let's get this scale out of the way. And let's start it off with the measurements. I don't need to measure the box since they're all really standard, unless you really want me to, in which case, uh, if you can, just let me know if that's something you need. Okay, give me a moment here. So this is a little bit of a longer car than uh, the other ones so I measured it out and it is roughly roughly six inches length I'll put up the measurements as well for metrics two inches and then two inches height so, Indian for my Europe, everyone else, you know, Asian. That would be right there, that would be 13 uh, centimeters, I believe. 
five, see five centimeters, and then a height of, I'm gonna put it all the way to the highest one, five as well. So it's kind of a bigger car in terms of length, but honestly, most American cars, I've noticed they're like pretty, pretty wide, <laughs> wide bodied. <laughs> I guess it's saying something. <laughs> okay. And let's start with the uh, review of the minivan. Give me a moment here. I'm gonna put everything back up. So the minifigure right here, you see comes with one accessory, comes with the wrench, and the wrench is used as uh, demonstrated in the other videos. I'll show you later on, but basically, it's used for the tire, so if you need to get this Chevrolet Camaro, which is not a sticker by the way, this is uh, put on, printed on, you can get rid of it by taking out this tire and then popping it out. I'll show that later, but for now, minifigure right here. As you can see, it has the little Chevrolet logo in the front. The minifigure only has one face, as you can see, nothing in the back. And so he's always happy. <laughs> I guess he's happy he gets a Camaro. <laughs> and then on the back, you have a nice little Chevrolet racing right there logo. So I think that's pretty cool, right? It's a pretty unique one to have. I'm gonna put him right here to the side. And let's, since we're on the topic of accessories, this is uh, fuel right here, fuel. So this is when you need to like, in demonstration put fuel to your car it has actually two holes for that one in here and find it out the other one yeah. it has only one so it only has one hole this is where you put it for fuel racing so then you put it in just like that and uh, you get the idea I think this is really cool I wish the others had it but I understand that they're not race cars but I feel like every car should because most cars run on fuel you know the other the McLaren Senna that I reviewed McLaren Elva and uh, McLaren Senna and the Porsche they're not electric <laughs> I think they would need it so now let's get to the meat and the bones the Camaro Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 race car so what's First of all, this probably has the most stickers I've ever seen and you get extra stickers. I'll show you all the stickers. This, These three are stickers for the five. Sticker right there, sticker right there. Two stickers. You can see that's all stickers. The other side, these actually aren't stickers. That's uh, bricks. That's real bricks on it, stickers. And then you can see sticker, 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 sticker. <laughs> so it has probably the most stickers. You're, you're gonna get two packets full of stickers for this thing. But now let's say, now let's see why I think this is one of the most best to design and build Lego sets. You saw from it that actually it looks very similar to the real life thing, you know. And you have Z71, you have the headlights right here, you have the bumpers, and then you have these printed on. I wish more sets did it, or they printed on, or they had something, some sort of design like this. This looks amazing. You know, it looks fantastic. I would highly recommend you get it just for these. These are amazing. The design, well put together. The glasses is nice. I love too how they made the back of this. This really is just a typical window pane that was just pushed down the spoiler on it. Oh, let me put that back. <laughs> the spoiler on it looks amazing. You know, it's really well thought out and put together. The spoiler looks just so natural, especially for a race car. I keep taking this off. I'm not trying to show you this right now. This is printed on as well. You know, this looks amazing as well. I love that it's not a sticker. And then the back design of it too is, I mean, look at how clean it is. It even has this extender in the front. I don't know what it's called. You have 
Like they paid attention on this design to everything. You have the back glass like this that stretches out. Oh, these two are stickers as well next to it. I just did a bad job <laughs> putting them right. It looks amazing. The front looks so amazing too, curved. I wish they just put threes because it has extra space. I'd recommend if you could do that, do that. So then you'll have the whole thing smooth. And the way they did the doors too, how they close in like this, it just feels amazing, it looks amazing. I think this is like one of the most favorite sets I got to <clears throat> build in. So let's open the actual front of it because I've been doing it so often. This is amazing too. It has a freaking roll cage and it extends up and down. So you put the minifig in there as a demonstration. You don't even need to see or buckle them at all. Give me a moment, I'm gonna <laughs> make him get in there. So look, you just throw him in there, right? You just throw him in there. I'm gonna disassemble. me here just a second okay so you can see wiggly wiggly right I'm not I didn't sit him down fully or anything just threw him in there put on the roll cage and flipped it around amazing I mean stuff like this you know where it just pays attention to the detail and the wind the windshield is also really nice it's longer than the normal windshield that it comes with but it just fits so well there's no space right it fits on perfect it's easy to come off you get this nice roll cage it's pretty you know dark tint and if anything were to happen he's safe and you could just see right on on like a road this is, i'm gonna try to simulate a racetrack with this one road brick it looks so nice. I mean, it just looks fantastic. They paid so much detail to this and attention. The sides on it look amazing, right? This little, I don't know, the little trims here, they look so nice, this black and blue design. It just fits and I think Lego could not have done a better job at making this set, especially even the back plates, even with the stickers, the way it just folds together. <laughs> you know, this is an amazing one. I would recommend everyone who could get their hands on this to buy this one up because this one is just amazing. I mean, there's just so many things with this that just go well together. It's easy to clean and right? If you need a race car, this is a nice race car. You know, they, Lego Speed Champions sometimes has bad ones. Like I, I have the Ford hatchback, which I will be doing a review on as well. It isn't as nice as this, right? This is, they did a really good job with this Chevrolet right here. I mean, there's so much about it to love. And you, it's really hard to find anything <laughs> to not like about it. So we can take him out of the roll cage. The roll cage goes all the way up, all the way down, and it's so smooth and so timeless, and it just fit. I mean, I don't know. This is probably one of my more favorite ones. You know, would I'd recommend that you get your hand on this as soon as possible. This is one set you're gonna want to have, and I'm gonna put down in the description a way to obtain this, I'm gonna put it in an Amazon link. Now, if you do buy from that link, you will be supporting the channel, which I appreciate. Abe would be able to, for me to do more videos like these and get more sets to review. So I would appreciate it if you could go from that link. If not, I'll still put it there anyway, so you get some you know, idea of where to find it. But I would highly recommend you get your hands on. This is one of the Lego Speed Champion sets you're gonna regret not having because even look at for the photo quality how amazing it looks and at a retail of $15 even you could still find it it's still possible uh, but I'm gonna you know but the $22 $23 mark is 
you're 100% gonna have someone that will have it available for you at that price. And it comes with this wrench, which, oh, I forgot. I want to show you. I told you I was gonna show it, and uh, I guess the only downside and of the this other set one negative is, is when holding the set. Right, there's a lot of stuff that's just probably, but it's kind of my experience with American cars. They tend to be like that, so I'm gonna say they were very honest with it. So to chain, I'm gonna put it on a nicer back jaw. Windshield out, take, change the tire, you take this wrench, you jam it in the middle, and it should pop out just like that, as you can see, regular tire, and you have this nice design for it, so you just then put it on, strap it on like that, and then you take this piece, because it's what connects it to the car, you connect the cross together and you get this nice little hole for it. And then you put it in the hole. If I can do that, kind of hard with one hand. There you go, and there you go, just like that, it snapped on. I'll put it down in the description. So this has been Lego Speed Champion set. 75891 the chevrolet camaro zl1 race car 198 pieces very good recommendation and i'll see you guys next week another video